Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guess what? Today is episode number 1230 in this Life Signatures podcast and uh, it comes to a close. It brings us to a close of a series, a wonderful series if I might add. In this series we've been talking about offering our services, our purpose, deploying it pro bono. What does pro bono mean? It means doing your professional work that you're supposed to be paid for, but you're doing it for free. We've been talking about that idea and also been looking at some of the advantages that do accrue to us and to society when we do our work pro bono. And today we're going to close this by looking at the fourth and the final advantage that accrues to us when we do our work pro bono. And by the way, I will add quickly that these four are not necessarily the eat all. There are very many other advantages of doing our work pro bono. But I just had time to talk about four. And then we're going to get into a new series shortly. So for this, stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like no content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. Another concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. You can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy! So as we wind up the episodes in the series, it's always good for us to do a recap and uh, see where we've come from 
First of all, the idea of pro bono, we have already explained what that is. It is issuing your work in a professional way at the professional capacity with the finesse of a professional as if you're going to be paid for it, but you will not be paid. And especially the beneficiaries of this are those people who are in need. And therefore, we say that there are some advantages that do accrue here. First one, it helps you to refine your gift, especially if you are a guy who is starting out. You have become a coach, a certified coach, and uh, you don't have any clients. What do you do? You go out of your way and you advertise and you say, I'm going to be uh, issuing free coaching services to these kinds of people. Sign up. This is my link, my Google, whatever. Sign, sign, in, sign, sign up. And you offer them a service pro bono. As you start, it refines your gift. Even as you continue, it keeps refining your gift. Number two, the advantage is that it helps in the greater good for humanity. You have no idea. You don't know what change you're going to impact by a small random act of kindness in terms of deploying your profession pro bono. Number three, we talked about this yesterday. It institutes a culture of giving because it's a cycle. Givers gain. The spirit of giving is transferable. It's transferable from one person to another. In fact, the, the guys who are always in need tend to be the guys who are always giving, especially if you empower them. But today, even as we come to a close of this series, uh, quick one. Number four, pro bono work in terms of deploying our purpose. It creates ambition in the children affected. Mm, 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 mm. Whenever children are involved, they are hero worshippers, I can tell you. Whenever children are, in, are involved, when, when you come through for the vulnerable, you have planted a seed. Mighty, mighty seed. And no one else could ever do in their hearts. The, 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 no one else could ever impact the kids in their hearts. That's why I'm going to use a name. A big popular name. This name has been a counselor to presidents, has been a counselor to Serena Williams, counselor to uh, and life strategist to Bill Clinton, been a life strategist to Conor McGregor, very many other sports athletes and, and, and very many big hitters. Ha, the name is Tony Robbins. If you listen to his uh, story, he tells you that at some point in time, he was down and out and they did not have food. And someone knocked on their door and they gave them Christmas or something like, like that, I think, if I get the story correct. It revolutionized Tony's life so, so much so that he vowed. Today, as we speak, he normally feeds, is it a million kids every year? There's a number that he normally does. But where did this begin from? It began from someone coming to his aid when he was a child. So whenever children are involved, when you come through for the vulnerable, you have planted a seed in them like no one else ever could in their hearts. And this is the seed of ambition. They want to be the hero. They want to be the one who comes alongside and helps. They want to be like you. They want to change the world the same way you are changing their world right now. I'm so sure that by, by the time you are through <laughs> helping them, they are making this inner vows just to be like you or even better whenever an opportunity is given to them. They will never, ever forget this. I don't know if I can remember this, but I'm told that there's a story of a kid Oh, oh Lord, kids. There's a story of a kid who was barefoot, did not have clothes on, and uh, did not have food to eat. And a woman took care of this kid. And this kid genuinely asked this question. Are you God's wife? Imagine that. That's how far this pro bono service that you're offering can go, especially where children are involved. 
if they come to know for sure that you did it pro bono it goes by giving them ambition and as you can see yes we might not be getting anything all of us who are doing this work pro bono we might not be getting anything out of this pro bono service this pro bono arrangement but that is the wrong way of looking at it you see when money and what you can get is your chiefest driver for your purpose and your pursuits in life i think you've lost it you've lost the plot for your existence completely i know we normally talk about rich people and how miserly they are how stingy they are how they calculate and, and so on even as we speak right now there is a billionaire called Elon Musk who is saying that he's going to charge $8 $8 for being verified on Twitter and there's a, another billionaire is it millionaire or whatever it is but he's a millionaire in dollars who is saying that $8 is just too much <laughs> But if money is the chiefest reason for doing what you're doing you've lost the plot of life money is neutral it's currency it's something that's going to enable you to do stuff it is not the end of life it's not the be all it is not all there is to life You're never gonna get fulfillment in life after money has come into our lives what what is what is left when we have everything that we need personally what is left to live for nothing you might say oh but how about enjoying those things i mean how many days are you going to enjoy the only thing that is and what are you going to benefit when you're doing the enjoyment fulfillment comes to us when we're offering service when you're offering transformation and contribution to other people's lives so if you are doing what you're doing your purpose your work your core work if the reason as to why you're doing it is specifically or or uh, chiefly or mainly to get money out of it i do think you've lost the plot of life completely and the greatest gain we get by offering our purpose for free is simply to help others in their need and in turn we realize that we have the ones who have actually been helped in a major way to get our fulfillment in this life if children are involved in the whole thing you will be planting ambition in them and like i said in the two previous episodes this thing will go cycle will go viral so to speak for lack of a better word and by the time you know it humanity has been transformed by pro bono work and pro bono becomes the main thing in life is not uh, something that we are attributing to lawyers only it becomes a way of existence in humanity i do believe that those of us who are professionals in the things that we do we all this world our service with all this world our professionalism pro bono not full time but occasionally and faithfully well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls guess what today we have come to the close of the series where we've been talking about pro bono services tomorrow God willing we are going to delve into a brand new topic and when tomorrow comes here I'm going to tell you what that topic is but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.